हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मरिकल एंड मिस्ट्री प्ले मोरालिटी प्ले एंड इंटरव्यूज दीज आर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ लाइट मेडिवल ड्रामा रिटर्न इन अ वाइटी ऑफ वॉस फॉर्म मरिकल एंड मिस्ट्री प्लेज मरिकल द मरिकल प्ले हैड इट्स सब्जेक्ट आई द स्टोरी फ्रॉम द बाइबल और एल्स द लाइफ ऑफ मार्टी ड्रॉम ऑफ साइंस In the uses of some historians, however, miracle play denotes the drama based on sense, and mystery play is applied to drama based on Bible. Mystery is used in the archaic sense, probably derived from the Latin "mysterium," that means work or occupation, of the trade conducted by each of the medieval guilds, which sponsored this plays the plays representing biblical narratives originated within the church in about the 10th century in dramatization of brief parts of the latin liturgical service called troops especially the quem quae ritis who are you seeking troop portraying the visit of the three marys to the tomb of christ gradually these evolved into complete plays which were written in english instead of in latin produced under the auspices of the various trade guilds and acted on stage set outside the church the miracle plays written in england are unknown authorship in the 14th century their development in cities such as new york and chester the the practice on the feast of corpus christi of putting on great sacrifices of such plays representing crucial event in the biblical history of mankind from the creation and fall of man through the nativity crucifixion and resurrection of christ to the last judgment the precious way that the plays were staged is a matter of scholarly debate but it is widely agreed to each scene was played on the separate pigeant wagon which was drawn in sequence to another fixed station in a city at each of which some parts of the cycle were enacted the biblical text were greatly expanded in these plays and the unknown authors added scenes comic as well as serious of their own inventions For example of the variety vitality and power of these dramas see the Wakefield No and Second Shepherd plays and the Brom Abraham and Isaac Morality play Morality plays were dramatized allegories of the representative of Christian life in the plot form of a quest of for salvation in which the crucial event are temptations sinning and climactic confrontation with death the usual protagonist represent mankind or every man among the other characters are personifications of virtues vices and death as well as angels and demons who contest for the prize of the soul of mankind the character known as the wise often played the role of tempter in a fashion both sinister and comic He is regarded by some literary historian as a precursor both of the cynical ironic villain and some of the comic figures in Elizabethan drama including Shakespeare Falstaff The best known morality play is the 15th century Every Man which is still given an occasional performance other notable examples written in the same century are the Castle of Perseverance and Mankind interludes interlude in latin between the play is a term applied to variety of short stage entertainments such as secular farces and witty dialogues with a religious or political point in the late 15th late 15th and early 16th century these little drama were performed by the bands of professional actors It is believed that they were often put on between the courses of the feast or between the acts of a longer play 
Among the better known interludes are John Hayward's farces of the first half of the 16th century, especially the four PP, that is, the Palmer, the Pardoner, the Pothecary, the Paddler, who engaged in lying contest, and John, the husband, tied his wife, and Sir John Priest. Until the middle of the 20th century, concerned the medieval drama was scholarly rather than critical. Since that time, a number of studies have dealt with the relationship of the text to the religious and secular culture of medieval Europe and have stressed the artistic excellence and power of the plays themselves. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel.